Hello and welcome to Technol. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to improve your website performance using Google Page Speed Service. I think you might have heard CDN services, Content Delivery Network services. Earlier, it was like your website will be hosted on only one server. So, if I am very far from that server, the server response time will be huge and the website loads really slowly. So, in order to improve the website performance, the CDN services came into picture. They keep multiple copies of your website in different servers located in dip different parts of the world. So it will serve the cop your website copy from the nearest server to the user. Hence it improves your website's loading time and it also keep the caching of your website. So if there is any server side problem it will load the cached copy of your website. Similarly, Google has come up with Google Page Speed service, which is similar to a CDN services. So, like in CDN, Google keeps multiple copies of your website in Page Speed servers located in Google data centers in different parts of the world. So, when our user visits your website, it will serve from the nearest server to the visitor and it also keeps the cached copy of your website. Let me show how to configure Google Page Speed Server for your website. Search Google Page Speed Server. Google Page Speed Service. Click on this developer.google.com link. Since it's a beta version, it is only for limited free trial. Click on sign up. Enter your email ID and the domain name. Hit the submit button. After some analysis, they will send a confirmation email to you. The confirmation email looks like this. This is the report that shows how much speed you can increase of for your website. And it is the link to your project. Click on get started. Usually for the first visitor, uh, first time visitor it will show create new project. Since I have already created a project it will show different options like overview services, API reports, quotas and page speed service. Hit the page speed service. Initially it looks like this, you have to enter the domain for which you want to enable page speed service. If you have any SSL certificate for your website you have to set up with SSL support. Since I don't have any SSL certificate I am using regular setup only. Add new. If you have already claimed your website using Google Webmaster tools, you won't see this step. Since this is a new domain, I have to claim the ownership. Click on claim ownership. I am selecting alternate methods to verify my ownership. I am using um, I want to verify my, my website using HTML tag. Just copy this HTML tag. From your WordPress dashboard under appearance, click on editor. Click on header.php file. Look for head tag. Just below the head tag, copy the meta tag you just copied from. Google Webmaster Tools. Now visit Webmaster Tools and click on Verify. The verification has been done. Now 
you try to add the domain to PageSpeed service. So now it has passed the ownership verification. Now I have to set up the domain. In order to set up the domain, you have to enter a C name pointing to pagespeed.googlehoster.com in your DNS zone editor. I'm using Bluehost hosting account. I'm in the cPanel now. Now I have to go to DNS zone editor. Select the domain. You have to delete a CNAME record or a record with www.anilanvest.com. I mean www and your domain name. You have to delete this CNAME or a record and now you have to add this Google Pay Speed CNAME. Sorry, this one host www. I'm adding a record that should point to pagespeed.googlehoster.com. Sorry, it's a CNAME record. Now it is showing that it will take up to 4 hours for the DNS to propagate the newly added CNAME record. Once you added you will see page speed service is enabled let me refresh this page it's not that enable wait for some time I'm just seeing whether the DNS CNAME has been successfully added or not. It has been added. Let me refresh this one more time. See, now it's enabled. I mean the Google Pay Speed service is working for my daemon. Just click on run speed test. Start test. It will start testing different criteria. It's now completed 6 of 10 tests. Let us wait for some more time. I think it went to queue. I think we might have to wait for a few more minutes. I'll be right back after this test has been done. Now the test is completed. It has generated a report about the original speed and the optimized speed. Let us play this video. There is an improvement of 0.5 seconds. Since my website is a new domain and it has no content, I think I won't see any drastic improvement in the speed. But 
I'm sure if your website has a lot of content and scripts, Google PageSpeed service will significantly improve your website loading time. Go to the PageSpeed service page. Let me show you options. Here are options like configure rewriters. Actually, this is a rewrite mechanism. It rewrites your HTML, cascading style sheets, JavaScript, and images. You can control the options over here. If you find your website is badly impacted using uh, when after using Google Page Speed service, you can disable all rewriters here. It will also show you any caching errors and all over here. It will show you the highest bandwidth it used so far. You can ask also flush the DNS so that Google Page Speed servers can catch the latest data on your website. I think it will be in under bandwidth. Flush DNS. Let me check whether it is catching errors. I think under catching errors, you can flush your domain so that Google PageSpeed servers will take the latest copy of data from your website. Yeah, that's it from my end. That's how we use Google PageSpeed server in order to improve your website loading speed and serve the static HTML files to the search engines. Thanks for watching, Technol.